good morning. So we're finishing up breakfast down here again in the hotel. Um, biscuits and gravy today. It's gummy. And I got eggs and sausage and already ate the potatoes, but <laughs> cost a little bit late this morning. So after we're done here, we're going to finish walking the presidents and then hit the road and Custer State Park is the big event today. And, and Mount Rushmore at sunset. And Wind Cave. Wind Cave National Park. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Matthew. Hi, I'm Susan. Together we love to travel. The saying goes, life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, 2020 dealt us the biggest lemon of all. Except being selfish about it, we made the best lemonade ever. An epic road trip! So we're about to check out from our room, but we wanted to give you a, a glimpse of downtown Rapid City from our hotel room here at the Rushmore. And you can see on the street corners the presidential statues. Each of the downtown core blocks has uh, statues that you can walk around on. We're going to finish up the ones today. up the city walk of precedence today in Rapid City and uh, I really enjoyed it because it's something very unique to Rapid City um, plus it honors the presidents who have served um, it's not it's a often thankless job people don't respect the office they don't respect you as an individual and unfortunately it's kind of looked down on and you know to get people to run it you know it's kind of hard sometimes you know some people just don't want to deal with it um so i enjoyed it um and susan what did you think i thoroughly enjoyed it too it was uh, a very unique experience and one local that we ran into while we were on our walk 
said that they put the statues at street level for two reasons. Number one, so that you can get up close and personal with them. And number two, to remind everyone that they're really just people too, just like us. So it was really awe-inspiring. The plaques told just a little, you know, bit of history with them, you know, when they were born, when they died, uh, what, uh, which president in line they were, and who uh, donated or contributed to the statue. So, I, it, it, if you're ever in Rapid City area, definitely go take that walk. It's really cool. So we are on South Dakota 79, heading south out of Rapid City. Um, we are headed to Custer State Park. So you know, we have a teeny bit of a drive, and then once we're there, we're going to take the wildlife loop road. So we are on South Dakota 36, headed towards Custer State Park. So along the wildlife loop trail, you can stop here at the Wildlife Station Visitor Center. Plenty of parking, and then this building here, you have machines and a place to do an inside 
unless you want to eat outside. Take a look inside their visitor center. Go back to this map. So we stayed here last two nights. Wind Cave National Park is down here, where we'll go later today. All of this is Custer State Park and then Mount Rushmore right there. Big orange sheep. I saw some of those yesterday. Pretty dogs. I can't wait to see more of the pretty dogs. Look at the map here. Uh, yeah, a little bit to see in there. I'm sure they would probably have more, but they probably took some stuff out to social distance everyone. more antelope out there. You can see them. They're on the other side of the fence. They're in the distance. Um, there is another bison. <laughs> All right, finally came closer. Still on the other side of that fence, though. Getting an itch, okay. No, don't worry. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my god, look at the baby. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the donkey used our car to scratch and face. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
bunch of them. Finally got to see a whole bunch of them, at least from a distance. There the bison zoomed in on. And you can see a bunch of babies up there as well. Then you have this guy down here who is just scratching his back, rolling on the ground. Custer State Park, but we're at Prairie Dog Town. And you can see that little prairie dog out there. All perched up. You can hear him chirping. So cool. So we just completed the wildlife loop on Custer State Park and now we're on our way to Wind Cave National Park which is immediately to the south of Custer State Park. So we're actually going to be in Custer State Park until we enter Wind Cave National Park. 